Okay, so what is Aspen Plus? Aspen Plus stands for Advanced System for Process Engineering. It is based on a flow sheet simulation. A flow sheet simulation is a computer software that is used to model a chemical processing plant, which, in addition to the core reactor unit, also includes pre- and post-treatment steps. The simulation of the entire chemical process, starting from the raw material to the final finished product, is symbolically represented by different icons, where each icon stands for a unit operation, chemical process, input and output material streams, as well as input and output energy streams or input and output pneumatic signals when applicable. In terms of Aspen Plus flow sheet notation, there will be a block icon and a stream icon. Take a look at the following example. It represents a typical Aspen Plus steady state flow sheet. Here you can see two blocks, one for a centrifugal compressor and another for a fluidized bed reactor. In this Aspen Plus flow sheet, a thin solid black line represents a process stream. This is the case of the air feed to the compressor or the catalyst feed to the reactor. Now, the purpose of Aspen Plus is to allow you predict the behavior of a chemical process using basic engineering relationships and thermodynamic equations. These equations describe mass, mole, and energy balances, thermodynamic relationships for reacting and non-reacting medium, such as phase and chemical equilibrium, heat and mass transfer, reaction stoichiometry and kinetic data, as well as physical constraints imposed on the process being simulated, and these are user-defined. In the next video, you will learn why Aspen Plus is so important. Okay, now why is Aspen Plus so important? To comprehend why Aspen Plus is such an important and powerful engineering simulation software, you need to look no further than its strong thermodynamic foundation. With its reliable thermodynamic data and rigorous equipment models, Aspen Plus can simulate actual plant behavior. It enables you to run many tasks, such as conduct what-if analysis, design specification checks, carry out plant and equipment debottlenecking studies, perform sensitivity analysis, and run optimization investigations. All of these functionalities will be covered in detail in the Aspen Plus Masterclass. In addition, the integrated steady state and dynamic modeling capabilities with Aspen Plus Dynamics, where the same model can be evaluated from either perspective, represents a significant advancement in the engineering software industry. To put it simply, with Aspen Plus Process Simulator, we can design better, smarter and safer chemical plants and increase profitability in existing plants. And this is one of the reasons why I love this tool and why you will enjoy this course. Okay, so who uses Aspen Plus? Well, I think that now the answer is quite obvious. Aspen Plus is primarily used by process and chemical engineers throughout the entire life cycle of a process, starting from a rough R&D concept and zooming to a refined projected idea with a different level of details, including conceptual engineering, basic engineering, detailed engineering, and finally, plant operations and revamps. Aspen Plus is also used for research and development in engineering universities. So, whether you are an undergraduate, a graduate student, a fresh or a practicing chemical engineer and looking to take your Aspen Plus skills to the next level, then 
This course is for you. Now, the real question is, how can we translate a complex chemical process into an Aspen Plus simulation model? To put it simply, you can do that by performing the following steps. First, we list them, then we will see each one of them in details. So first, you need to specify the chemical components in your process. You can find these components in Aspen Plus built-in data banks, or you can introduce them to the Aspen Plus platform. Next, you need to specify the thermodynamic model or the property method to represent the physical properties of your components. These models are also built into Aspen Plus. Examples include NRTL and Unifac, just to name a few. We will see this in details further ahead. Next, you need to define your process flow sheet. This step includes defining the unit operations in your process, the process streams that flow into and out of these unit operations, and select models from Aspen Plus model palette to describe each of your unit operation. After that, you need to connect your unit operation models via process streams. Next, you will need to specify the component flow rates and the thermodynamic conditions, such as temperature, pressure, and mass or molar composition. You will need to do this for all of your feed streams. Finally, you will need to specify the operating conditions for the unit operation models. For example, the pressure, the number of stages, or the reflux ratio if you are modeling a distillation column. Once you successfully perform these five steps, Aspen Plus will inform you via the simulation status that all required input data are complete. You can run the simulator, perform sensitivity analysis, design specification checks, equipment debuttonnecking studies, and so on. At this stage, don't worry if some or all of the steps presented here are not clear for you. We will guide you step by step through the process of modeling chemical processes and you have our promise that after completing this course, you will become an advanced Aspen Plus user. You might not be an Aspen Plus expert, but you will be prepared to become one if that is what you like and persist to be.